Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for inviting me today. So at the beginning, I'd like to uh, express my sincere gratitude to the conference organizer, NIA. Uh, from now on, I'd like to talk about creative city policy and creative industry in Yokohama. Uh, this is the uh, contents of my uh, presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, I will talk about creative city policy at the municipality level in Japan. After that, uh, I would like to talk about the overview of Yokohama City, uh, creative city policy, and uh, creative industry. Uh, although it is a little bit old survey, uh, about uh, five years ago, uh, we carried out a questionnaire survey to local government throughout the country. Uh, as a result of that, uh, there are 56 local governments that have adopted uh, urban policies focusing on creativity. Uh, if we include the uh, municipalities that adopt related policies, it is more than 80. Um, due to the, the Great Eastern Japan earthquake in 2011, the number of the municipalities that emphasize policy on disaster prevention has increased. Uh, but in recent years, uh, more and more um, uh, municipalities uh, put, uh, take, take uh, focus on urban regeneration uh, by the soft power such as history and culture. Uh, now it is a really important matter of municipality policies. Okay. So <clears throat> why do these municipalities adopt uh, creative city policies. Uh, 38 municipalities gave reasons for changes in socio-economic conditions. Uh, today, Japanese municipalities have many problems, such as population decrease, aging society, uh, decline of central business district. Uh, in addition, the 20 municipalities are citing reasons such as revitalizing uh, traditional industries and utilizing historical environment. They are ab adopting urban policies focusing on creativity as a new approach to solving uh, problems in areas that they cannot be solved at the national level or traditional uh, old style uh, policies. For example, uh, Kobe City promotes uh, creative city policy with the theme of design city. There, uh, Kobe is very famous for its port and uh, advanced urban design. They are exploring approaches to change cities by design uh, based on three keywords, uh, cityscape, lifestyle, and manufacturing. The former custom building, a custom house, uh, has been renovated to the Design Creative Center where many creators and designers have the studio. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in Kanazawa, so creative city policy focusing on traditional industries have been taken. Uh, here, private sectors like our local chamber of commerce uh, propose these policies. Although um, Kanazawa is famous for the, the 21st Century Art Museum, uh, which is a contemporary art museum, uh, but there are many exhibitions that consider the relationship between um, traditional industries such as kimono and pottery, art and design. In addition, they are also putting effort into uh, nurturing human resources, such as dispatching um, young craftsmen to overseas. Today, um, I have only 30 minutes, and I will not introduce uh, all the cases in other cities, but each city is making its own creative city policy by taking advantage of the city's history culture and special resources like historic district, um, industrial heritage, uh, waterfront, and so on. Well, uh, 
uh, let's talk about uh, Yokohama city. Uh, Yokohama is the, the largest city in Japan with a population of 3.7 million. Now, actually, Tokyo is the largest, but Tokyo is not a city. It's a metropolitan government. So it is uh, about uh, 30 minutes train ride from Tokyo. So therefore, how to be independent from the mega city, Tokyo, is the theme of urban policy for many years. Yokohama is also famous for its unique history. Its history is the, um, it's a history of uh, destruction and regeneration. Okay. <clears throat> About uh, 100 years uh, ago, uh, 160 years ago, there was nothing, there was nothing, but um, fisherman's village with about 100 houses. However, after the Edo, Edo Shogunate, the government of Samurai decided to build a port here. A new city was planned. So Yokohama developed as a gateway to the world. Gateway to where various Western cultures modern technologies were introduced, like um, modern water supply, electricity, gas, and other uh, technologies. It gradually uh, changed uh, from a small port town to a modern port city. In the early 20th century, heavy industries developed and formed an uh, industrial zone along the waterfront. Uh, the left picture is the first land use plan, and the blue area was designated uh, industrial zone. So this is the, the waterfront industrial zone. So this is the old downtown. In 1923, uh, the great Kanto earthquake hit Yokohama, and the downtown area was totally devastated. In 1945, due to the areas, the downtown area was devastated again. In the post-war period, the reconstruction project was delayed because the downtown area was taken over by the U.S. military. Therefore, how to regenerate the urban center was a major issue of our city planning in Yokohama throughout 1950s and 60s. In order to solve this difficult situation, the mayor Asukata uh, at that time announced the six major project in six, 1965 to change the urban structure. The first one is the uh, urban center rehabilitation in the downtown. The second one is the new town development in the suburb. The third one is the land reclamation in the south. The fourth, fourth one is the subway construction connecting Newtown and downtown. And the fifth one is the highway construction uh, connecting the, the port zone and the industrial zone and also the, the reclaimed land in the south. Uh, sixth project is the Bay Bridge. <clears throat> In the post-war period, a new urban center was formed along, along Yokohama Station. So this is the old downtown area, and this is a new uh, urban center uh, that was formed uh, during the post-war period. <clears throat> it is because of the, the, the taken, take over by the U.S. military in the downtown area. For this reason, a small factories and uh, shipbuilding yards in the downtown were relocated to the recreating land in the south. And an uh, urban center rehabilitation project start, started. So there are two simple uh, strategies. One is making the uh, two urban center in one, old one and new one, in, and connecting these two urban centers and uh, realize the integrated one urban center. The second strategy is uh, making a waterfront open to public. 
So this is the aerial photo of 1965. And this is the aerial photo in 2008. You see the, this is the old, old downtown and this is the old port facility. In that area, so the people, uh, citizens are not allowed to, to enter. It's a, it's a part of the port zone or industrial zone. Only the limited people can enter this zone. Uh, this area is a shipbuilding zone, uh, yard, and this is an uh, um, old port facility and railway yard. So this shipbuilding yard and railway yard and uh, old port facility was turned into what we call Minato Mirai uh, now. Uh, the Minato Mirai located in the, between uh, old downtown and the uh, new downtown uh, near the Yokohama station. Uh, so it realized uh, uh, integrated one urban centers. And all, almost all the port facility, fa facilities were moved to the, the outer harbor area, new port area here. And Bay Bridge is connecting the new port area and the uh, industrial area. So the through traffic going uh, in the downtown that caused a traffic jam was decreased. And so now we had a great chance to, to change the old downtown. Okay, so let's go back to the 1970s. So in the 1970s, in the old downtown, a uh, new project called Urban Design was pro practiced with the purpose of making urban space attractive. Uh, Bashamichi Street is the oldest shopping street in Yokohama, but it was full of cars in 1970s, like this. <clears throat> like this. Uh, by the initiative of Shop Owners Union, the urban design to improve a pedestrian space was practiced. So this is a present photo of the Bashami shopping street. So widen the pedestrian walk and decrease the space for the traffic. The next strategy to revitalize the old downtown is the conservation of cultural heritage. In the 1980s, conservation of historic buildings and monuments became a major issue of urban design in Yokohama. At the beginning, it was the conservation of um, each single building, but in some districts, it becomes a strategy to revitalize the old decayed area. So that is the outline of the urban planning and urban policy, uh, especially in the urban, uh, old downtown. <clears throat> uh, from 2008, Yokohama City started a new project, what is called uh, Creative City of Art and Culture. At this time, there was uh, several issues to be solved in the uh, old, uh, central business district, especially in old downtown areas. Uh, firstly, the decline of the old downtown area becomes obvious due to the recession after the bubble economy burst. Uh, reflecting this situation, the vacancy rate of office building was reached nearly 15%. To cope with this situation, a um, downtown regeneration plan was started but didn't work, work out. So the mayor, Nakata, at the time, ordered to seek for an alternative way to stimulate our local economy. After two year discussion, a creative city plan was adopted that to promote cultural activities and tourism. The objective of the creative city plan is like this. Uh, realizing the creative environment where artists and creators want to live. 
The second one is the stimulating economy by a cluster of creative industries. Third one is the making good use of attractive resources in the community. The fourth one is the residents taking the lead to produce the creative cities. To realize this vision, six projects were planned. The first one is the uh, uh, National Art Park Plan. This is actually a spatial strategy for the creative city. Uh, this is a map showing the strategy. Revitalizing the downtown, especially the waterfront area, is the key concept. Uh, based on this plan, the area around Zona Hana, the first port area, uh, was renovated to a new park with a small alternative center. This is the present picture of Zona Hana district. The second project is uh, uh, fostering a creative neighborhood. To foster a creative neighborhood, Yokohama City provides subsidy for renovation works of old buildings where artists and creators and new startups can move uh, his studio or company to the downtown. Also provided subsidy for the art project. Uh, there is an office called Art Commission Yokohama, which provides one-stop consultation. In each creative neighborhood, there is a core facilities. That is, uh, this warehouse standing along the bottom is uh, operated by NPO. Actually, this is an art center, but um, sometimes uh, serves as a place uh, providing an opportunity for networking. In this picture, uh, many um, artists, creators, and the, the government officers and uh, the people working for the big company or small company uh, got together and we discussed about the future of Yokohama. So this is the case of um, other district in Nihon Odori. The facility is ba called Bates and the building stands near the baseball stadium and this building, uh, this facility is operated by the baseball uh, company. And uh, sports and creativity is the key issue uh, of this uh, center. Uh, sometimes they have uh, um, presentation and workshop on the new sports uh, or about the new uh, sports business in Yokohama. In the other district, um, there was a big challenge, uh, challenge to revitalize, regenerate the former red light district. Uh, the the name of the town is Koganecho, and uh, the local community and uh, university and artists and creators uh, collaborate to change the image of the district. Now the NPO is um, implementing the artist in residence program, and about 50 artists are staying in this district. The third project is the Image Culture City. And in this old building, uh, Graduate School of Tokyo University of Art is located. The fourth one is uh, Yokohama Tree and Naren. So this is uh, uh, the art exhibition uh, of mainly focusing on the contemporary art. And we have a three time a uh, year, uh, one, uh, one in three year. The fifth one is uh, fostering the youth. Uh, under this program, 
we dispatch our young artists to the elementary school where they can have a very creative experiences. So, and we also are uh, supporting the street musicians. Uh, we have a, a small uh, street concert uh, who wants to play a music on the street. Uh, in Japan, it is very strictly controlled, the, the activity on the street, but we allow them to perform uh, on the street. Okay. The sixth one is the smart illumination. So this is uh, the illumination work by the artist and a new technology for consideration uh, to the environment, uh, such as LED, using LED as a new technology, is uh, the very important part of this project. Okay, this figure shows the feature of the Creative City Policy in Yokohama. A uh, feature of Creative City Plan in Yokohama is its transsexual nature. The, under the Creative City Plan, uh, three sections in charge of urban design, promotion of art and culture, and promotion of new industry, including tourism and creative industries, started to collaborate with each other in order to uh, realize the vision in the Creative City Plan. Uh, creative industries are the sectors that are expected to grow in the future, such as ICT, uh, image production, design, and so on. So spatial strategy is really important in the creative city approach in Yokohama. Okay, next I'd like to talk about the creative industry in Yokohama. So this figure shows the location of the creative industry companies. So this is Yokohama, this is Tokyo. The Tokyo is like a huge magnet. 16.6 uh, uh, percent of the nation's creative industry enterprises are located in Tokyo. Um, but Yokohama is uh, the fourth biggest. Uh, ha Yokohama has the uh, fourth biggest creative industry cluster, Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, Yokohama. Uh, there are uh, more than 5,000 enterprises classified as uh, creative industries, and more than uh, 75,000 people were working. Uh, creative industry account for about 5% uh, of Yokohama's total number of enterprises and employees. So this is a graph. Uh, this graph is a radar chart of uh, uh, specialization coefficient. The specialization coefficient is the value obtained by uh, dividing the share of each creative industry in Yokohama city and by the average of the the whole country. So if the number is one, it means the same as the national average. The share of the computer software is double as the national average. Uh, this is a visualization of the distribution of creative industry uh, on the geographical uh, information system. So you can see the, the three major uh, clusters of uh, creative industries. <clears throat> uh, this small cluster is around the area of Shinkansen Station. Um, Mainly, the semiconductor industry are seen. Also, um, 
the, here, the area around the Yokohama station, uh, software development uh, cluster can be seen. And the third one, the biggest one, is the old downtown. Uh, this map, this is the area of old downtown. This is the area of Yokohama Station. So near the Yokohama Station, you can see a red dot. So red is the uh, ICT industries. But in the old downtown, uh, you can see um, various colors. So it means that um, old downtown plays a role of incubation center for the creative industries. This actually, this area, there's not so many high-rise office buildings. The, about 40% of the, the how, uh, building is uh, older than uh, 50 years. But this area, old downtown area, is rich in history and culture. You can see a good restaurant and cafe very easily. And the rent is very cheap. So this is a result of a questionnaire survey for the artists and creators and startups in old downtown. So we asked them the reason why they choose the old downtown for the studio, uh, atelier, or uh, the answer in red shows the possibility of creative industry clusters. The top one is the cheap rent. But second one is the possibility of a collaboration. Third one is a creative neighborhood. The, the sixth one is the support by NPO. NPO is the art NPO operating the art center. So they play a good role of, for the social networking. They highly appreciate the possibility of collaboration, the atmosphere and the environment of all downtown, and have it with the office in downtown. This is a very important point. So we cannot see the phenomena like this in Minato Mirai, I mean the newly developed area. Okay, so let's go to the conclusion. So in Japan, um, creative city policy emphasizes regional culture, history, and space and resources and each local government is making its own policy planning. The creative city policy in Yokohama is a transsectoral policy uh, covering three different fields. Urban design, culture promotion, promotion of creative industries. The location of the creative industry also has a different trend depending on its category. In order to promote uh, Clustering, so it is necessary to support it according to the characteristic of each cluster. If you want to promote a cluster of design, maybe you should have the place or art center like Yokohama. If you want to promote a biotechnical uh, industries, so maybe you should locate an uh, incubation center in the industrial zone. Okay. The last one is a part of the creative industry determines the location based on the judgment criteria for the possibility of networking and attachment to the district, as well as a good rent and location. So they do not choose this place only by the rent, or only by the location. So their behavior is quite different than old-fashioned companies. And also, they do not want to pay a lot uh, for their fixed expenses, like rent. 
no, they have to allocate more budget on research and development. So that is the key issue to foster our startups. So that is my conclusion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Nobuharu Suzuki from Yokohama City University. Okay, ค่ะก่อนที่เราจะก้าวเข้าสู่ช่วงถัดไปนะคะช่วงนี้เดี๋ยวเรามาขั้นโฆษณากันสักนิดหนึ่งนะคะก็จะมีการแจกกีเวอร์เชอร์จากสตาร์